Welcome on this tutorial. Wish all you are well. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss interfacing of OLED display. OLED display is cheap and very useful display in project work. Here in this discussion, I shall ultimately interface OLED display with ESP01 module. I will start the discussion with features of OLED display, pin explanation, memory mapping, circuit connection of OLED display with ESP01, what are the different libraries required and how those libraries can be installed. I will show interfacing procedures with Arduino code. I will explain the code also. For this, I will need to upload the code into ESP01. How to upload Arduino code in ESP01? I have explained it in a separate tutorial. Before starting this tutorial, if needed, please go through that tutorial. Here in this discussion, I will explain step by step procedure to interface OLED display with ESP8266 ESP01 module. Go through this tutorial. If you have any query or comments, please put it in comment section. Subscribe the channel. It will encourage me to upload more and more important tutorials. OLED is organic light emitting diode. Few points regarding OLED display module SSD 1306. Monochrome 0 0.96 inch size. 128 cross 64 pixel resolution with 160 degree viewing angle. Supply voltage is 3 volt to 5 volt. Supports both 5 volt and 3.3 volt logic devices. OLED display can communicate through SPI and I2C connection. Can easily be interfaced with Arduino and other related devices as suitable libraries are available. This OLED displays in different colors and sizes are available like 128 cross 64, 128 cross 32, 96 cross 16, 64 cross 48 and 64 cross 32. The OLED display does not require backlight which results in a very nice contrast in dark environments. OLED display consumes less power compared to other displays as its pixels consume energy only when they are on. SSD1306 driver and its library make OLED to display characters and bitmaps with simple commands. These are the pins in OLED display. This ground pin, next VCC. VCC is 3 volt to 5 volt. In our case, we will use 3.3 volt. This is serial clock pin. The display supports both I squared C and SPI for which clock is supplied through this pin. This is serial data pin. This is the data pin of the both. It can either be used for I squared C or for SPI. RST is the reset pin. The reset pin will reset all the internal buffer of the OLED driver. The DC pin. This is command pin, can either be used for SPI or I2C connection. CS, this is chip select or chip enable, normally held low, used only when more than one SPI device is connected to microcontrolling unit. The OLED display which I will use here is having only these four pins, BCC, ground, clock pin and data pin. It would be better to use this OLED display if we have idea on memory mapping. This is the screen of OLED display. It is having 8 pages, page 0 to page 7. Each page consists of 128 columns and each column is having 8 bits. So total number of bits or pixels here are 128 multiplied by 8 in per page. Total 8 number of pages. So number of total bits or total pixels are 128 into 8 into 8. Here I am going to show how to interface OLED display with ESP8266 ESP01 module. This is the circuit connection. This is the VCC power supply. I will use 3.3 volt and this ground pin. Similarly in ESP, this top left corner here according to this figure, this is the VCC and this is ground pin. This pin is the cheap power down pin. While ESP is in operating condition, then this is normally connected with BCC. The OLED which I am going to use here having I2C connection facility. 
I2C is a very powerful communication protocol and used only two pins HDA and SCK data pin and clock pin. I2C have a master slave kind of communication topology. Here we can have multiple masters and multiple slave devices as well. But how does a master device communicate with a specific slave? That can be defined as each device has a unique address of itself and that can be used to access or used to communicate with that particular device. This is GPIO 0 pin. Here this pin will be connected with clock pin of OLED display. This one is GPIO pin number 2. This is connected with the data pin of OLED display. So this is the connection between ESP01 module and OLED display. This is the OLED display which I am going to use. This first pin is the VCC pin. Next one is the ground pin. Next is the clock pin. And last one is data pin. Here I am using ESP01 and interfacing OLED with it. To use ESP, few software setups in Arduino ID is required. Next, to upload the code in ESP01, I am using Arduino board. How to connect ESP01 with Arduino board and upload the code into ESP, I have explained it in previous tutorial. I am not repeating it here, as here my motto is to explain on OLED interfacing with ESP. If you need, please go through previous tutorials of this series. Now here I am explaining which are the OLED libraries required and how to install those. My ESP is now connected with Arduino Uno board. Opening this Arduino ID. To work with OLED display, we need to install libraries. We need to have vast knowledge on memory addressing in order to use the SSD ON306 controller, which is the main hardware of OLED display. Adafruit's SSD1306 library that was written to overcome these complexities of the SSD1306 controller. So, we need to install this Adafruit's SSD1306 library to control the display. To install the library, I am entering into this case include library, manage library. I need to install Adafruit SSD1306. So, I am searching here. Adafruit SSD1306. See, first one is by Adafruit. So, clicking install button. Here it is written that to work with Adafruit SSD1306, I need other library dependencies, which is Adafruit GFX library, Adafruit bus IO. Adafruit SSD1306 library is a hardware specific library which handles normally lower level functions. It needs to be paired with this Adafruit GFX library to display graphics primitives like points, lines, circles, rectangles, etc. So it is better to install this. For that case, I am clicking here install wall. See this is the progress bar. Here see the indication installed. So the library has been installed perfectly. Closing this one. Now I am uploading very small code to my ESP01. This is a very small code which will show silence and progress on OLED display. To upload the code, I am setting ESP in programming mode. The GPIO 0 pin of my ESP is now grounded and I am pressing the reset button. So my ESP is now in programming mode. Now clicking this upload button to upload the code into ESP. Compiling sketch. Uploading. Uploading completed. Now I am connecting my OLED hardware with my ESP. First two pin, this ground this VCC. Now this clock pin, clock pin will be connected with GPIO0. So I am connecting it with 
GPIO0 and the last pin is the data pin which is connected with GPIO pin number 2. After hardware connection of OLED display with ESP8266, now I am taking ESP in run mode. Now to set ESP in run mode, I need to press the reset button. I am going to press the reset button. When I will press the reset button, the ESP will be in run mode and OLED display should show silence and progress. So pressing reset button and let's see what is happening. Yes that OLED display is showing silence and progress. So interfacing of OLED display with ESP8266 ESP01 module is perfectly fulfilled and perfectly working. Now I am explaining the code which has been used here. The first header file this is required for any type of I2C connection. Next to header file is required for OLED display. This two is for identifying the size of OLED display. This one is for reset pin declaration. If OLED display has reset pin, then that should be connected with any GPIO pin. And in that case, the GPIO number should be indicated here. But here in my case, the OLED display which I have used here, no reset pin. So for this case, as there is no requirement of reset pin, so entered minus one. This one is for defining the address of I2C device. The address is 0x3c. Next, we need to create an object of other fruit ssd1306.h display is the object here and this instruction is the initialization of display object with width and height and also with the i2c communication protocol next in setup function initialize the serial monitor for debugging purpose with a baud rate 115200 this is required for defining hardware i2c device here gpi pin number 2 and 0 has been used so the instruction is y dot begin parameter is 2 comma 0. Next we need to initialize the OLED object using begin function. This function takes two parameters. This one is the first parameter which turns the internal charge pump circuitry 1 to generate display voltage from 3.3 volt internally. And the second parameter is I squared C address of the OLED display which is 0x3C. Now here I call this begin function in a if statement. This display dot begin returns a boolean output. If I squared C device is properly initialized, that is everything is okay. This display dot begin method gives true signal. While this is true, then this not true is false. So execution will not enter into if statement. Otherwise, the serial monitor will show an indication that we are not able to connect to the display. SSD 1306 allocation failed. After completion of initialization of display, add a 2 second delay. This is required so that the OLED has enough time to initialize before writing any text or before showing any data. This instruction clears the previous data from buffer. Next is the actual data. This is that data we want to show on the display, which is silence and progress. This is the text. So before writing this instruction, we need to set up regarding the text which I want to show. These are the setups. First one is the setting for text size. Parameter is 1. This is normally 7 cross 10 pixel. If I want double size, then in place of this 1, I need to write 2. Next, this is color setting. This is white. White means white with black background. We can invert the color also. In that case, as arguments, I need to write black comma white. This instruction is where the text will start to display. This is the cursor position. Here it is 0, 20. So these three are required for setting the parameters related with the text. Ultimately this is the text to be displayed. Next I need this function display dot display. This function actually show the display on OLED. After a two second delay again we can clear the previous display from the buffer. As we are just showing a text, the full things here is written in setup function and in loop function, nothing is required here. Uploading another program which will show bitmap image. 
uploading completed now setting ESP in run mode I am going to press the reset button to make the ESP in run mode when I will press the reset button the OLED display will show an image pressing the reset button yes the display is showing an image after doing perfectly all the things which I have described here if anyone face any problem to get the display on OLED one thing can be tried I am showing here I can check the display size specified in Adafruit SSD 1306.h header file now I am checking it to check it I need to enter into document Arduino libraries Adafruit SSD on 306 this is the header file opening this header file with any editor I am checking inside this I am checking here where the size has been specified see here it is hash define SSD 1306 if this one is commented I need to comment this one and I need to uncomment this one this one is defined for 128 cross 64 who is OLED I am using here saving the file closing now restart Arduino ID maybe